Hello everyone, my name is Dean Sung Huy, and this is my midterm project with the topic Global Citizen. First of all, we will start with the definition of global citizens. A global citizen is someone who is aware of and understands the wider world and their place in it. They take an active role in the community and work with others to make our planet more peaceful, sustainable, and fairer. So, why does being a global citizen matter? The answer is, the world is becoming increasingly interconnected. Improvements in technology and trade have pushed the boundaries of the term citizenship. It is becoming increasingly necessary for students to repair to contribute positively in their local, national, and global communities. Overall, we, students in today's world, will think about global problems more than reverse generations because communication on a global scale is easier and more accessible than ever. We are able to have more diverse experiences and are better educated on global issues. For students who are global citizens or potential global citizens, the chief thing is to know about the situations of the world around us. And one of the social issues that we are facing at present is cyberbullying. According to the UNICEF, cyberbullying is bullying with the use of digital technologies. It can take place on social media, messaging platforms, gaming platforms, and mobile phones. It is repeated behavior aimed at scaring, angering, or shaming those who are targeted. Examples include spreading lies about or posting embarrassing photos or videos of someone on social media, sending hurtful, abuses, or threatening messages, images, or videos via messaging platforms, impersonating someone and sending mean messages to others on their behalf or through fake accounts. The effects can last a long time and affect a person in many ways. Mentally, feeling upset, embarrassed, stupid, even afraid or angry. Emotionally, feeling ashamed or losing interest in the things you love. Or physically, tired, loss of sleep, or experiencing symptoms like stomach ache and head ache. The feeling of being laughed at or harassed by others can prevent people from speaking up or trying to deal with the problem. In extreme cases, cyberbullying can even lead to people taking their own lives. So, what can we do? We all want cyberbullying to stop, which is one of the reasons reporting cyberbullying is so important. But creating the internet we want goes beyond calling out bullying. We need to be thoughtful about what we share or say that may hurt others. We need to be kind to one another online and in real life. It's up to all of us. And with the qualities we hold as global citizens, we can help to show this situation to a certain degree. This leads to the next point of my video. What characteristics and skills we need as a global citizen? According to Minerva.edu, there are nine sides of a global citizen, but I will mention here four. The first one is you are not short-sighted. Instant gratification is everything in today's world. You can chat with someone in real time from opposite sides of the globe or deposit a paycheck to your bank account in seconds from your mobile phone. But overindulging in these modern conveniences has come at a price. People are becoming increasingly impatient. You are different. You believe faster isn't necessarily better. Like global citizens, you are willing to put the time and energy into something, even if you won't see the results immediately. Second, you are not afraid to think big. Big issues call for big solutions. You don't get overwhelmed easily and are always up for a change. Global citizens don't stand by and watch others come up with answers to the problems we all face. We may not necessarily have solutions to each issue, 
but they are able to make sense of complex situations and work alongside others to show them. The next one is you work well with others. The beauty of a global community is its diversity. Global citizens are like great sports captains. They can identify the strengths and weaknesses of their teammates and understand how to work with different personalities to inspire others to contribute to the task at hand. Last but not least, you embrace the responsibilities of global citizenship. Like the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. Global citizens belong to an emerging world community and they recognize this as a responsibility as much as it is a privilege. You embrace your role in the world community and understand how your actions have shaped our world. So, that's uh, the size of a global citizen. This plays a question for myself. Am I a global citizen? My answer for this question is not yet. I haven't been a global citizen yet. Although I am familiar with those characteristics listed above, the fact is that I've just known about a global citizenship recently after starting to search for this project. I have learned a lot since I started looking up information about global citizenship. I know what skills and qualities I need to become a truly global citizen. I know what to do to keep myself up with the world. I have had overview about the situations around the world, etc. All about to becoming a good person that can contribute to a better life. And it's only a star for my role to be a truly global citizen in the future. At present, I'm just a freshman on trying to possess these characteristics as well as skills of a global citizen. I believe that in the near future, I will confidently call myself a global citizen. Anything which makes me happy most after this course is that I got this certificate for the Building Global Citizen course of Microsoft. For you guys, university students who are watching this video, I want to say that student life is quite short and we shouldn't just let it go in ineffectually. Make it meaningful by yourself. Doing volunteer, learning soft skills, improving your English skills, or even learning another language besides English are making you nearer to the world to be a global citizen. Besides, try to gain the experiences as much as possible and take part in the development of the world and human beings. So this is the end of my video about the topic global citizen. Thank you for your watching.